inside of the concentration camps established by the SS and the Nazis, there were many stories of bravery and tragedy. Inside camps such as Bergen-Belsen and Buchenwald, there were many people who risked their lives to protect other prisoners. One such example was a priest who volunteered for death in place of a prisoner who had a wife and children. This bravery saved the man's life, but when the Red Army liberated Auschwitz, they learned of the true horror of the huge and large killing complex. But one story that emerged from the survivors of Auschwitz was a couple and two lovers who together had attempted to escape from the camp and had actually managed to flee the gates of Auschwitz. But they were quickly recaptured and were then subject to horrific executions and much mystery surrounds the execution of Mala Zimmertbaum as it is debated that she was subjected to a truly terrifying ordeal. Join us today as we look at the horrific executions of the lovers that escaped Auschwitz. And remember to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Edward Galinsky, who was also known as Edik, was a Polish man who was known to have been very handsome and brave, and he took many risks. He served, despite being young inside of the Polish army, to try and defeat the Nazi invasion of his homeland. However, he was then arrested and was classed as a political prisoner. Because of this, he was transported to Tarnow Prison, after Poland fell to the Nazis, and it's believed he may have been tortured here for information. But on the 14th of June 1940, he was one of 729 male Polish political prisoners, who were part of the first deportations of prisoners to Auschwitz. At the time it was only being used as a camp for criminals and political prisoners, not Jewish people and gypsies. Here Edward was part of setting up the camp's infrastructure, and he was assigned to work as a mechanic, and with this he worked with a number of civilians, who were also helping to build Auschwitz and expand the huge complex. His work as a mechanic allowed him to be taken into different subcamps of Auschwitz, including the women's camp of Birkenau. There he met Mala Zimmertbaum. Mala was a Polish lady who was very intelligent, and at the age of 24 she was captured by the Germans on the 22nd of July 1942. It's believed she was arrested during the Third Raid of Antwerp, where many Jews were being captured inside the Belgian city and were then being transported to transport camps. Mala was sent to the Mechelen camp before she was then, on the 15th of September 1942, placed on Transport 10, which was heading to Auschwitz. It took her two days to arrive, and following the selection process, she was not selected to go to the gas chambers, but was then sent into the women's camp at Birkenau, and was assigned the camp number 19,880, as she was skilled in speaking a number of different languages, including English, Italian, Polish, German and French. Because of this, she was forced to work as an interpreter and a courier. It was said, in Birkenau, she acted as an interpreter, a messenger, and as such enjoyed a certain freedom of movement. Because of this, she had access to more things that an everyday prisoner would not, but she even took part in the resistance inside Auschwitz, and she helped other inmates. It was said she was generous and courageous, she had helped many of her companions and was loved by all of them. She stepped in when prisoners would be punished for not working hard enough, and she also warned prisoners inside the infirmary when selections were taking place, so they could get out of the hospital and save their lives. She also passed banned photographs smuggled into the camp from inmates' family members, and also got food and medicine for people who needed it. But when she met Edward Edit Galinsky, she fell in love, and together the pair came up with an elaborate plan to try and escape and flee Auschwitz. Galinsky had planned to escape from Auschwitz before, but together the pair came up with a new plan. Galinsky informed his friends that the pair would escape together, as a previous plan relied on stealing SS guards' uniforms, and at this time this could not be sourced. It was said that in the summer of 1944, Zimmerbaum decided to escape with Edik, a Polish political prisoner. She not only wanted to reconquer her own freedom, she was also planning to document the daily massacre at Birkenau. Mala Zimmerbaum's escape mission was based around the fact she wanted to tell the Allies the true horror of what was happening at Auschwitz with the mass killings, brutal guards and the gassings. She believed by doing this she would save the lives of many, and together her and her boyfriend Galinsky planned to escape on the 24th of June 1944, which was a Saturday. They chose this day as there were less guards who worked on the weekends at the time. On the day of their escape, the couple were initially successful in breaking out of Auschwitz. Galinsky was dressed in an SS uniform, and Zimmerbaum was dressed as a prisoner who had been led to work in a different camp. She managed to get an SS pass and with this, managed to get out of the gates of Auschwitz, and the pair then headed for a nearby town. The pair were probably dreaming of their freedom, 
but this would not last long. For two weeks they hid inside of nearby towns and the mountains, and they were evading capture. They were caught on the 6th of July 1944, inside of mountains near to the Slovakian border, and as Malazim at Baum went into a store to buy bread, she was arrested. She tried to barter with the shopkeeper with the gold she had stolen from Auschwitz, and a passing German patrol came past and arrested her. Galinsky, who saw this, then had the chance to try and flee himself, but as he promised he would not leave Mala, he gave himself up, and was also arrested. Escape attempts at Auschwitz were often met with much brutality. Collective punishment took place in which prisoners of the same block from the escapee were sometimes hanged in roll call, and whole barracks were forced to stand in the freezing cold until prisoners returned. The lovers were both taken to block 11 inside of Auschwitz, which was infamous for being a torture block, where punishment was inflicted greatly. Galinsky was placed in a cell with another man, and a friendly SS guard passed notes between him and Mala. As Mala Zimmetbaum was taken out for daily exercise each day, Galinsky would sing to her, but escape attempts were only met with one form of reprisal at Auschwitz. Galinsky and Zimmetbaum were sentenced to death for their escape, and on the 15th of September 1944 were to be hanged at the same time in the men's and women's camps. The pair were forced to go to their deaths for the infringement of the camp's rules, and Galinsky, it's believed, was executed first, and his death, it's claimed, went smoother than Mallers. As he was led to the gallows on the roll call yard, an SS official read out the death sentence and verdict, but before this happened, Galinsky jumped into the noose and was then forced back onto the platform. He screamed, long live Poland, and as all the prisoners were forced to watch, they took their hats off. He was executed and was left out as a reminder to the prisoners for some time. However, Malat Zimmerbaum would not go down without a fight. It was reported by Auschwitz survivors that she had managed to obtain a razor blade from somewhere. As she was led to the gallows in the women's camp, she quickly slashed an artery in one of her wrists. As she was bleeding heavily, it's clear she did not want the SS guards to take her life. She wanted to have the final say herself. There are differing accounts of what happened next. It was reported by some that she said the women would soon be liberated and that she told them to rise up and revolt, saying it was worth risking their lives for their freedom. One SS guard tried to take the razor blade from her, but then Mala slapped the guard with her bloody hand. She screamed, I shall die a heroine, but you shall die like a dog. But then it was said that enraged, other guards immediately came running, a prisoner, a woman who dared to defy them. Some claimed that she actually broke the SS guard's arm, but then the camp staff and more guards jumped on her and beat her savagely and taped her mouth shut. Maria Mandel, the head of the women's camp, who was a sadistic guard herself, then stated that an order from Berlin had arrived, saying that Malazim at Baum was to be burned alive inside the camp's crematoria. It's unlikely that this order came at this time. It was said that Mala was placed on a wheelbarrow and was then taken to the camp's infirmary. As she was led away, beaten and bleeding heavily, she said to the prisoners the day of reckoning is near, then she tried to speak to more prisoners. There are differing accounts of what actually killed her. Some state that she was taken to the camp's hospital to stop the bleeding, but actually died whilst on the cart from blood loss and the beating she received. Others say that a guard shot her near to the crematoria, and others say she took poison and took it before she could be burned alive. Other accounts claim that she was in fact burned alive. The staff of the crematoria cried and prayed as they were forced to burn her body, but what cannot be questioned is the bravery of Malazimitbaum. Edward Galinsky and Malazimitbaum's escape attempt was initially very successful, and the pair managed to secure a few weeks of freedom. But eventually the fact it failed resulted in their certain death sentence. The SS did not mess around with people who dared to try and escape the concentration camps, and because of this they executed the two lovers in brutal fashion in front of hundreds of prisoners. Today the pair are remembered as the tragic lovers of Auschwitz. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, Thank you so much for watching.